everybody, it's your boy Jack here, and welcome to a new subscription box unboxing. Um, today in this video, um, I'm going to unbox this, which is the Epic Comic subscription box, the um, Epic Comic box. Um, I'm going to be unboxing this box, even though they don't have like a logo here. Um, so they already get like 0.5 down on like a point if I was going to do points. But yeah, uh, in this box, I'm going to be unboxing this. So this is the Epic Comic box. Um, uh, I'm going to leave all the pricing and information down below. Uh, to be honest, um, after buying this box and everything, I think I'm only going to do this for one month just because, like, it is, it's a good price for the actual box itself, but, like, the problem is, is that they don't include shipping with the actual, like, price of the box itself. And especially for me being an international, like, customer, um, because I don't, because, like they're like it's the box plus shipping it's hella expensive um so like if you are um if you're interested in getting this box get it but buyer beware um the shipping there is shipping added to this box so like that's why i didn't want to get this box again because it just wasn't um ex like it's not good value for me being a canadian customer buying this box because i have to pay like a lot more in shipping so yeah, that's about it. So, um, just as an FYI. Uh, besides that though, let's cut the tape, let's open up the box here. Um, So the box comes like baked and taped up a lot. Um, so you just have to cut the tape off. You get the... No, this box you get like different themes. I forget which theme I chose or anything, but um, yeah. So it comes in and it gets like, you have like, these are where the comics are and everything. So yeah, I think I got like five comics. Uh, so yeah. So you just open up everything slide the comics out uh, and you get five comics are baked boarded the only thing that bugs me is they're not taped like at the back here which sucks but yeah uh, so let's dive into these comics here so the first one here that we have is this one boom it is a twisted romance it's an image comic it's by Katie Skelly um, Alex DeCompi um, Sarah Horrocks and um, uh, Maggie, Megan Cubed. Um, it's an image comic, it's number one of four. Uh, it is priced at $3.99. It's a simple artwork and everything, the cover itself is also simple as well. Um, you got like, like everything sort of drawn in like a child's perspective, like sort of like a child and everything. Like, um, and which is okay, like, I, I, I'd understand, like, if this, like, if I understood the story itself, then, like, I could get that as well, so, yeah, um, awesome. That's comic number one, uh, comic number two is this one here, boom, one, <laughs> uh, it is the one, it's by IDW, or, um, like, I think it's the uh, Disney Comics. Um, it's by Richard Veitch. Uh, it's the one, the last word of superhero heroics, the big sleep. Um, number one of six. So this cover is a bit confusing. So it's drawn like a, um, it's sort of drawn like a like a harm box, like maybe like a like a medicine box or like a poison, like a rat poison box. It's sort of confusing with the cover to read it. That's my first thing initially. Um, and it, it just seems a bit confusing because you have like, uh, like the caution, don't swallow if it's like, uh, the thing is you don't have a, there's no real good path for me at least visually where you can figure out, okay, um, like this is issue number one. This is like, and like the whole cover itself, there's no real good pathway for your eyes to go. So you're just trying to read everything in between and through. So yeah, um, 
yeah, it's it's a bit of a confusing cover. Um, and like I, the thing is too, you don't really get an idea of the story itself. So that's going to be an interesting one to read. The next one up we have here as well. Boom. It is uh, Vertigo Comics issue number one. It's Deathbed. Um, it's priced at three ninety nine US. Uh, it is suggested for some more mature readers. Uh, so it's a bit more of a mature comic and everything. I like the like the drawing style, the colors that they use. It's a bit more quirkier and everything. Um, along with that as well, it's it's an interesting comic. Um, I'm excited to read it. Um, and yeah, I think I've read a few Vertigo comics before, so this is exciting. I like this cover. It's a bit more interesting. Uh, I like the color scheme with like the purple and the um, the per like or not the purple the pink with the uh, yellow background along with that as well like this whole like mountain of stuff. Uh, so yeah, it's a good cover. Um, the next one we have here is this one. Boom. Don't uh, don't tell me. Oh no, different one. Uh, it's the uh, Dark Horse Comics. It's a Berger Books. Uh, issue number one of five, it is Matahari, um, the untold story of the femme fatale Matahari. Um, this sort of reminds me of the uh, Deja Thoris comic I got in the comic box or subscription box. Um, just with the cover and everything, um, very like Middle Eastern, uh, like uh, pulls up a lot of Arabic influences with the purple and the gold. Um, interesting. One, I'm excited to read this one as well. Um, so I got two more to go. Uh, yeah, two more. Let's dive into comic number one here, or comic number two. Ooh, it's Hellboy. It's a Dark Horse comic. I'm liking Hellboy. I'm genuinely really liking Hellboy. Um, it's Hellboy and the BR, uh, BPRD. 1955 priced at $3.99. It's burning season. Uh, it's from Dark Horse Comics. I like it. It's an interesting cover. Obviously you got Hellboy there. You got like some other people. You got the burning dinosaurs in the background. I like the color like scheme of it where it's like you have like the yellows, oranges, and the reds. Also you have that like teal and like I'm gonna say teal and like dark um, bluish uh, back, like grayish bluish background. I like that. Uh, honestly, though, too, I like the Hellboy comics and everything as well. Like I obviously read the Hellboy Krampus snack, which I'm gonna do like a comic. Um, uh, what is it? A comic uh, spotlight on and everything. Uh, so yeah. Uh, last but not least is this one here. Boom. Ooh, I like this cover. It's a nice cover. It is the DC Universe Swamp Thing Winter Special. It's an 80-page giant. Um, it's priced at $7.99. It's issue number one. It's a part of the DC Universe. Ooh, this is a really nice comic. Um, I like it. Um, the cover itself, you got Swamp Thing right there. Um, Swamp Thing. You got like the, the little girl in the middle, you got like this really great wintry background and it really helps like, art, art wise it really helps like reflect off the background itself. So I really do like that, it's a plus of it being an 80 page giant epic, or yeah 80 page giant epic, awesome. Uh, so yeah, those are all, um, I think five comics, one, two, three, four, five, six. So those are all six comics in this box. Um, overall, I wouldn't uh, just personally look at this box. Um, I don't love it. Like, and here's my problems with it. Firstly, like, I don't mind the comics themselves. They're a bit weird and everything, which is okay. Uh, my biggest problem here is the tape. Like, personally, for me, if you're gonna big and board it, great, good. That's my expectation in a comic subscription box. Beg and board the comics. Awesome. But my biggest problem here is there's no tape here. Like the little envelope flap here, I know you can't see it. 
but there's no tape there so when I'm moving these comics or when I'm touching these comics like it's sort of hard to grab them and then not move around um, and that's a big problem for me because I want to store these comics and keep them in good condition that's why I want the back flap taped I uh, know I'd have to tape them myself like yeah, that's just an expectation for me personally I would have another issue with these is obviously price um, and like just paying shipping along with um, having each of these comics as well. Um, besides that, like they are interesting in random stories and I think I'm excited to read all these comics. And what I'll definitely do is I'll do a comic spotlight on um, one of these comics from the box as well. Also as well too, here, fun little tidbit I've noticed. If you're gonna not tape them down, there's like four, there's like three or four of these like flaps um, hanging together when you like put them down and I just don't like that. But yeah, um, overall I'm not going to order this box again, like it was just really expensive. Um, I think this is just going to be a one time thing. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to read these comics, I'll let you know what I think about these comics down below or like in a video or something. Uh, besides that though, if you're interested in the um, Epic comic box, I'll, link, I'll leave a link down below. But yeah, I'm not going to get this box again, it was just too expensive uh, for the comics that I'm getting. There's no real confirmation of extra value that I, I feel would be beneficial to me. But yeah, if you're interested though, I'll leave a link down below.